good evening and welcome to this session where I demonstrate uh, how I've connected the eHealth Shield from Levalium. You can buy the Shield uh, from their Cooking Hacks website. Uh, as you can see, there are multiple sensors that are attached to the eHealth Shield, uh, ranging from blood pressure, oxygen, uh, airflow. Uh, skin resistance, ECG, etc. I have connected a fair few of those. Some of them are connect currently connected to my body, uh, especially the ECG. Uh, I will be breathing in and out on the airflow just to show you, show you uh, the readings that you get uh, across onto the Salesforce uh, platform. Uh, let's have a quick look at the contraption. I have here is, uh, as you can see, I've connected the Arduino, oops. <laughs> Obviously I managed to disconnect it, but that's okay. We can reset it. That's the Arduino with the uh, eHealth Shield, multiple sensors connected. Uh, you've got the body position sensor. You've got the temperature sensor here. Uh, by the way, uh, the power source is just a simple uh, Morphe that I've got uh, connected. So basically, uh, the Arduino Un is uh, wireless. Uh, it is connected to my uh, uh, home network. And as you can see, I've got multiple wires all connected to myself. Okay, let's have a look at uh, the code. Let me get on to the Arduino IDE. Okay. Let's reload the code in there. The code is basically uh, some amount of libraries that I've got from a website called Timbu. Uh, libraries from the eHealth uh, website for connecting and being able to display all those sensor readings. Uh, Timbu is a website that I think one must explore because it's got, if you look at it, it's got multiple uh, ways of connecting to different platforms from Flickr to Google to Kiva to PayPal, of course, to Salesforce. And that's where I've picked up uh, some amount of code that it creates, what it calls the Choreos. It basically creates an, uh, and you can sum them up and you can uh, cut and paste a fair bit of the code. But of course, you've got to do a bit of uh, writing the code as well. Uh, so there you go. It's uh, uploaded. Let's uh, try and run it. Uh, uh, I'll get the CD monitor on. Okay, it started. And it's writing the first one. Let me just put the auto scroll off. As you can see, what have I done? It's telling me it's me. Of course, I've just put my name in there. The temperature currently, that's because it's just next to the light, 42 degrees. Uh, ECG, it's reading. Uh, the airflow, I've not yet connected, so it's just, must be a lot of air around. Uh, the skin conductance, the scale voltage, the skin resistance. Uh, the position, at this stage unknown because I'm not, I'm not wearing it. And of course, the day, day, date and time. Uh, if we keep going, it will of course be writing records onto the Salesforce platform and to prove that, let me get on to my other computer. Okay, here we go. So I've created a uh, customer object called readings. Readings has got uh, fields like, of course, the name of the reading, uh, when was the reading taken, the temperature of the person, the ECG, uh, the airflow, and uh, that's the body position. At this stage, it's unknown, of course. As you can see before, uh, when I was playing around, right lateral, prone, uh, which means I was flat on the, on the ground. <laughs> uh, skin conductance, skin conductance voltage, skin resistance, and the date that this record was created. Now, of course, I can go ahead and create Visual Force pages uh, to graph it, or I can create dashboards and reports to graph it. But uh, 
the heck this was just meant to demonstrate here we go I'll re refresh it and you can see the data will keep changing that's uh, time is slightly off because it's picking up the time from the US what do we have now Okay, you can see that it has uh, picked up a fair amount of readings. I will just go ahead and do something with the body position and see if I can get that happening. It's hard when you are wired up. I've got multiple sensors on me uh, as well as trying to get hold of uh, this body position sensor. Anyway, you get the uh, you get the gist of it. Uh, you can see that at some stage, as I mentioned, that I was able to move the body sensor around. Uh, the ECG is obviously going fabulous. I would assume so. I have no idea what the readings are, but that's what it is. So without uh, much more, I would say thank you very much uh, and uh, enjoy. Take care. Bye-bye.